the potential of permanent magnets to generate free energy has been a topic of intense debate and skepticism. Traditionally, magnetic field lines have been described inadequately by conventional textbooks, which fail to account for the complex geometries involved. This has led to confusion and dismissal of the idea that permanent magnets could produce free energy. However, by exploring the deeper principles of magnetism, as highlighted by researchers like Ken Wheeler, a new understanding emerges. The Geometry of Magnetic Fields Permanent magnets exhibit magnetic field lines shaped by the typical geometry of the ether. The torus and its inverse are common geometric forms in this context. Mainstream science, having eliminated the concept of the ether, often struggles to accurately describe these magnetic fields. The geometries involved in the ether field are intricate and multifaceted, leading to a variety of magnetic phenomena that are not well represented in traditional scientific literature. When magnets are rotated and combined in specific ways, they generate unusual magnetic field lines with distinct geometric characteristics. This synthesis of induced vectors creates unique field dynamics, which can be harnessed for energy generation. In conventional models, the geometry of magnetic fields is likened to a hole where a marble rolls and eventually comes to rest. However, by altering the geometry to resemble a waterfall or a high cliff, continuous movement and unidirectional thrust can be achieved. Creating cyclical motion. For practical application, placing magnets on the surface of a circular disc or cylinder can harness this unidirectional thrust cyclically. This setup allows the magnetic forces to act in a continuous loop, generating perpetual kinetic energy. The challenge lies in overcoming the inherent balance that magnets seek to maintain. By strategically tilting small magnets and avoiding balanced positions, continuous motion can be sustained. George Sukup's Magnet Motor, V-Gate Magnet Motor One notable example of this technology is George Sukup's Magnet Motor. This motor initiates rotation when a starter magnet is positioned correctly. Key to its operation is the tilting of small magnets, which traditional YouTube demonstrations often fail to capture accurately. Properly combining magnet groups and avoiding balanced positions is crucial for maintaining continuous motion. Sukup's design sometimes employs a lever to prevent magnets from neutralizing each other's forces. In some versions, the system operates without needing to remove the magnets from their balanced positions. Overcoming skepticism and challenges. Despite successful models, magnet motors have not gained widespread acceptance or development. Education systems typically discourage thinking outside the box, and the initial verdict that magnet motors contradict the laws of thermodynamics has stifled further exploration. Additionally, attempts to commercialize free energy devices face significant opposition. Many independent engineers and inventors have mysteriously disappeared or faced insurmountable obstacles when trying to bring these technologies to market. The Role of Ether Field Theory Understanding the true nature of electricity and more advanced technologies requires the development of ether field theory. This theory offers a comprehensive explanation for today's electrical phenomena, providing a foundation for new technological advancements. Ether physics could unlock electrical healing solutions, such as Wilhelm Reich's orgone technology and Nikola Tesla's electrotherapy. Large corporations are rumored to be using ether theory for proprietary technologies, despite its dismissal by mainstream science. This dismissal is often attributed to Einstein's plagiarized paper, a consensus among certain allied scientists. The removal of ether from scientific discourse is considered by some as a deliberate action to suppress groundbreaking innovations. Practical Implementation For those interested in building a permanent magnet motor, practical considerations include preparing a battery bank for charging and purchasing an inverter to convert DC to AC. Acquiring magnets, drills, lathes, and other technical equipment can be challenging. Therefore, it is beneficial to explore easier implementation plans, such as those introduced by the blog over Unity. The Magnet Motor, Making Free Energy Yourself Edition 2019 by Patrick Wynan serves as an excellent resource for enthusiasts. It provides a summary of the knowledge required to harness the power of magnets for free energy, including 3D models and detailed construction guides. This book aims to demystify the technology and encourage experimentation and innovation in the field of magnetic motors.